Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today is the lesson pronouns grade 3. We have two types of pronouns. Let's see the picture here. We have subject pronouns and object pronouns. Subject pronouns and object pronouns. Subject pronouns like I, you, they, we, it, he, she, I, you, they, we, it, he, she. Object pronouns me, you, them. Us, it, him, her. Me, you, them. Us, it, him, her. Now we will understand where we're supposed to put subject pronouns and where we're supposed to put object pronouns. Now look at the table here. Subject, object. The red one is the subject before the verb. Green one is object after the verb. I, in a subject, we write I before the verb. But if it's after the verb, we will write me. You, before the verb, you. After the verb, you. He, before the verb, him, after the verb. She, before the verb, her, after the verb, it before the verb, it after the verb, we before the verb, us after the verb, you before the verb, you after the verb. So why we repeat you twice here? Because you can be referred to one person or a group of people, singular and plural. They before the verb them after the verb now subject look at the red one are the subject subject pronouns as the subject of the verb as we said subject pronouns comes before the verb look at the blue ones here are the verbs i like your dress i is the subject like is the verb your dress you are late you comes before the verb are so it's a subject he is my friend he comes before is the verb so it's subject it is raining it comes before the verb is she is on holiday she is a pronoun, comes before as, as the blue is the verb, so we write she. We live in England. We is the subject. Why? Because it comes before the verb live. They come from London. They is the subject. Come is the verb. Now, let's go to the object, the green one. So, look at the examples here. If the pronoun comes before, after the verb, so we don't write I like here, we write me. Because me here comes after the verb. So, if it's after the verb, we will write me. We will change I to me. Can you help me, please? Number two. I can see you. As we said before, you say the same in a subject and the object. She doesn't like him. Him, change it, is he. He in a subject, him in an object. Why him? Because it comes after the verb like. I saw her in the town today. I saw her. Her is for the girl. She. So, it comes after the verb we don't write she we write her 
We saw them. Them for what? For they. They in the subject, but here we write them. Why? Because we have verb. In town yesterday, but they didn't see us. Us for what? For we. Us the same meaning as we. But here why we don't write we? Because it comes after the verb. So if it's after the verb, we will write us, not we. Now, you have a homework, so please write down in your notebook. Write down in your English notebook. Put these pronouns in the correct place. Put these pronouns in the correct place. I, they, we, he, him, it, her, she. I, they, we, he, him, it, her, she. One. I'm from France. Speak French. So, we have verb here. So, before the verb, what are we supposed to write? Two. Aren't here. Are on holiday. So, before the verb. Which pronoun we will choose to write before the verb? Subject pronoun or object pronoun? Number three. Are hungry. Didn't eat lunch before the verb. So, subject or object. Four. It's cold. It's cold. Eight. This is Angela. Is my sister. Angela is a girl. So, what we choose a girl? Pronoun. Is my sister. Have you met before? Nine. This is Jack. Jack is a boy or a girl? It's a boy. So, which pronoun we choose for boys? Is my brother. I don't like you. Have met. I'm sorry. I don't think you have met. So, write this the homework in your English notebook. And I will check it next time. Thank you.